fans only see the surface of Homer's distinct yellow character. We get it. He is silly and unremarkable. He constantly messes up, and his family would be better without him. He loves drinking and food, but this whole premise would get old eventually. The creators needed to dive more into their cast and give some backstory. After years of being on air, the character's intentions and breakdown has become more clear. The whole creative team worked hard to subtly bring a little depth to well-established characters. Suddenly, the cartoon character parading around our screen for 32 years begins to come into focus. With just a little addition, all of Homer's traits begin to take on new meanings. The truth is, Mr. Simpson is truly remarkable. It just takes time to appreciate that. Luckily, we have the time to look into all things Springfield and Simpsons, and here's what we found. When Homer was young, his mother left. He was born on a farm to Abraham and Mona Simpson, but his father raised him after Mona left to avoid the police. Life is not easy when a parent runs out on you. Homer's childhood was filled with mischief and misunderstandings. He sought out attention and only found trouble. Homer went to high school, but that was the extent of his education. He never received a college degree. Lucky for him, he met the love of his life in high school detention. Marge initially rejected his prom proposal, because back then, high schoolers didn't go all out for the gram when they asked a girl out to prom. Homer faked taking French so Marge would tutor him, and then he asked her out to prom. When Homer came clean about the lie, she slapped him and left. Somehow, Marge reconciled the initial rejection and found love for the despondent Homer. The two never left each other's side since. They married after Marge became pregnant with Bart, and the two found themselves stuck in Springfield supporting three kids before they knew it. It all seems so simple. This is why we love the Simpsons as a family. They have an unbelievable upbringing, and the characters, though unrealistic by nature, feel grounded in some recognizable concepts. Homer's childhood and love life are not totally unfamiliar, which means his character is not wholly unfamiliar either. Now, on the surface, Homer's goals are simple. He wants donuts and he wants beer. Otherwise, nothing much seems to motivate him. That simply isn't true. A few barn-burning episodes reflect the deeper side to Homer's aspirations. He wants acceptance. Homer seeks to make his family proud. He hopes to have kids who appreciate him and a wife who loves him. However, conflict always finds its way into these goals. Homer can't get out of his own way. It's the most interesting part about him. He's selfish and lazy. Plus, he can honestly be downright rude to everyone. The motivating factor behind this is likely his insecurity stemming from his childhood. Abe never considered Homer enough, and Homer never believed in himself. Think about that. As a child, Homer stopped trusting in his ability to be special. Because of that, he now constantly seeks to disprove his own feelings of wastefulness by passionately pursuing a number of hobbies and odd jobs. Homer is never settled. He can't be, and the writers designed him that way to create wacky scenarios. At the end of the day, he is a cartoon character, so all these traits need to come out in out-of-this-world ways. Since he is a cartoon character, Homer is gifted some unique abilities. Seriously, a quick run through this list and you'll realize just how wild it is. Homer is capable of some extraordinary feats. For instance, this man has taken some hits. Like Homer can take a cannonball to the gut and not even receive a scratch. The slapstick nature of his comedic development means he can take a lot of damage. There is a reason his catchphrase is, don't! He says it every time he gets hit by something, only to immediately recover. On top of immense durability, Homer will occasionally show the ability to accomplish incredible athletic feats when given enough motivation. He is capable of picking up motorcycles and running faster than the average person. He even matches gold medalists on occasion. This is all done for comedic purposes, obviously, but he did accomplish it. If Homer wasn't so lazy, he could make a lot happen in life, which maybe says something about the whole average Joe characterization attached to his character. Homer is far from average physically, when he is properly motivated, at least. Homer also shows signs of immense intelligence. Wait, wait, stop, don't switch videos. We know that sounds silly, but hear us out. Homer is dumb, no one will disagree. However, he is capable of learning a foreign language rather quickly. He is a polyglot and even knows how to speak penguin. Yes, that is possible, at least in the Simpsons world. Homer also shows a unique ability for musical talent, which is a form of intelligence. He can craft a song and sing it beautifully in a matter of moments. So he has to be really smart to do that. Well, smart in a certain way. On top of that, he has a few gold records and a Grammy award. Oh, it's a Grammy! No big deal. On the subject of awards, Homer also received an Academy Award and a Pulitzer Prize. Yep, that is right. Homer Simpson has as many Academy Awards as Leonardo DiCaprio, and more than Amy Adams and Jake Gyllenhaal. 
So, is he really that stupid? Homer can also be incredibly brave and shows a knack for leadership. He has gifts, he just doesn't know it and can't see past his own faults. Homer seeks validation in all these different ways, but never takes the time to appreciate the skills right in front of him. He seeks it in two places instead, his family and his work. Let's start with family. Marge, Bart, Lisa, and Maggie all suffer due to Homer's shenanigans, not to mention multiple attempts made by his kids to find alternative father figures. Sometimes he simply fails as a father. That generally negative surface level lends itself to the deeper part of Homer. Homer loves his family. When push comes to shove, he's going to do his best to support them. He actually gave up his dream job working at a bowling alley to support them. Consider that for a moment. The man who fails them almost daily also sacrificed his dreams multiple times for them. That is more than Homer's parents ever did for him. He discourages Lisa and puts down Bart. At the end of the day, he believes in them. He desires to see them succeed. His selfish view on life just stops that from coming through, sadly. This love also extends most vividly to Marge. He is prone to screwing up and ruining her trust in him. Over 32 years, Homer has done this way too many times to count. Yet Marge still loves him. Why? Well, she loves him unconditionally because Homer does the same for her. He is not always quick to show it, but he always comes around. He never wants to lose her or the kids. She knows that, and she loves their relationship at the end of the day. Marge saw this from day one. He fell in love with her and always desired what is best for her. Heck, he even let her leave for college so she could achieve her goals in life. Marge came back to him, but that says something. Homer promised her that he would find a job and not come back to her until he did. He refused not to support them. Lucky for him, Marge appreciated the sacrifice and helped him find a job. On the flip side, Homer is also a company man, except he doesn't love his work. It's become so well known that the laziest person around an office is usually referred to as the Homer of the workspace. If you didn't know about this, then the Homer might be you. Yet again, this is all surface level. Homer is unsatisfied at the nuclear power plant because it does not challenge him. How many times has he nearly eradicated the town by not doing his job? More than a couple times. However, if you consider that over the entire span of his career at the plant, that is not bad at all. To clarify, it's a good job considering Homer hardly actually works. That is minimal effort with good payoff. When we do see him working on things that interest him, we see an entirely different Homer. Things inspire him and challenge him. Mr. Simpson is way more likely to succeed and work hard when the work keeps him from coasting. Sadly, his more negative traits always keep these jobs from working out. If they did, there would be no conflict. Ultimately, that dynamic is the crux of Homer as a character. Think about it. He is the driving force behind conflict and comedy in the show more times than not. His antics move the show, so they need him to always resort back to the comedic roots. The change since season one is minimal because of this. Homer does not grow as a character. He only becomes a more extreme version of his original vision. That is why everyone knows him as this surface level character. He turned into that over years of writing because it is easier. Homer cannot change too much over 32 seasons. If he did change, then that means he has an end to reach. The Simpsons does not end because it is set up not to end. Homer reverts to his old time self time and time again. It's how the show keeps moving along the same beats. Still, Homer Simpson and his entire family left a legacy. The image of a yellow cartoon hand holding a donut instantly receives a reaction. It is okay that the man holding the donut will never be received for more than an idiot. Homer still changed all of television. Heck, he is even the company man. All of this is taken to its extreme. Homer Simpson is the direct result of a real idea being pushed into a comedic world. He is relatable in his struggle to find new dreams and achieve them. Sure, the dreams are usually unrealistic, and his problems are not based in reality. However, that does not mean the hints of familiar feelings in his actions are to be taken lightly. He is more than a fool. Homer Simpson is the fool who made everyone else feel less foolish and less silly, which is all he wants in his life, too. What is more, Homer launched thousands of Homer-like spin-offs. At the end of the day, many TV dads are based off his character. He is so grounded in a real concept of the normal American dad turned on its head that many comedic writers sought to copy it for their own good. This is how we got Peter Griffin. This is how we got Randy Marsh. This is even how we got BoJack Horseman. Everything started with Homer Simpson. Have your own Homer Factor tidbit to mention? Write it down in the comments below to get in on the conversation. All you have to do is hit the link down below to be automatically subscribed.